Hi, it's 2023 and the new year wouldn't be complete without yet another wireless charging grift duping people out of their money on Start Engine, which is a uh, equity crowdfunding campaign website. And yes, you've seen this before. It's wiggle time again. Wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. We've looked at wiggle before and I'll link in these, vi these videos. If you haven't seen it, this main channel video, they raised five million bucks and I did a busting video on that where they claimed that they could charge your mobile phone and eh, nope. They can't. <laughs> and then I did, and even better actually, if you want to look at more technical details, I'll link in this, this second channel video, which goes through a lot of more technical uh, detail. It actually goes through their research paper published in Nature, and uh, yeah, all sorts of technical stuff that even in their own research paper proves that they, <laughs> they've got nothing. They can't charge a, a phone wirelessly. It's all complete BS. Anyway, um, yeah, they were like the biggest crowdfunding campaign. They did actually raise $5 million previously, and I believe that was some sort of record or something they set on the Start Engine uh, website. But they've got, the, the grift is continuing. They've raised another 2.8 from suckers who simply just have no clue. They're just throwing money at it. Why? Let's type Wiggle into Google. We get the Wiggle homepage, but right here, Wireless power busted. <laughs> Wiggle wireless charging busted. <laughs> Black inventor develops Wiggle. That's a new video uh, which we haven't seen. And uh, like, uh, come on, there's a couple of wank articles here. And but there's a, another debunking article, like the second link here. And this debunking article is from Caleb uh, Naismith here, and he links in uh, my video as well. So I'll link that one in uh, down below. So what? People who are investing serious coin in this thing aren't even doing a simple Google search. And like I. Don't dominate like the busted videos and articles just dominate come on seriously another 2.8 million dollars flush down the toilet but hey hats off to them right they're going to keep doing this grift for years just like solar roadways have been doing the solar roadways grift for 15 years i think it is now and i think they're still going Anyway, I'll keep this video short. I'll give you the TLDR. They claim that their, you know, estimate of the wireless charging solution is going to be $40 billion. They've got this wiggle, uh, patented wiggle technology, which is, you know, a wireless networking technology and stuff like that. Because as you can, as you'll see, their uh, technology is actually just commercial off the shelf stuff. Seriously, they raised 5 million bucks, now another 2.8. And it's just, they're just using all off the shelf technology. All they've got of any value, even if it is of any value at all, is their networking uh, patterns, uh, their charging networking patterns. I think I went through the research paper in the previous uh, video, and yet they just claim that they can do absolutely everything. Fridges, microwaves, ovens, phones, 31 billion devices, wank, wank, wank. Look at this, light fixtures, it's perfect for first responders, autonomous vehicles, yes, EVs, high-powered, untethered devices. It's like it can do everything with wireless power. They can power absolutely everything. And a $49 billion market potential, blah, blah, blah. And oh yeah, look, this space age helmet they're developing for the military and they've got a few military grift uh, contracts as well, which means absolutely Absolutely nothing. Um, and here's their original uh, prototypes. They've been going for a while, 2017. And yeah, I went through the Nature Scientific Report. Anyway, they claim that they can power absolutely everything, as does every one of these wireless power grifts, whether it's U-beam, whether it's Energis, whether it's, you know, I do, oh, I, energy, a whole bunch I've covered. And this is hilarious. When they first ran their campaign, uh, they uh, touted Energis as one of their competitors. Now, when they originally ran the campaign, they were just using off-the-shelf commercial RF diagnostics modules, uh, uh, power receiver modules. I've actually uh, played with these in the mailbag and you can receive like microwatts of power. You can tiny flash a little lead, right? They were just using this off the shelf technology. What did they do in their second round? I've uh, explored this in the other videos, but they actually partnered with Energis. And look, if you go over to Energis, they're one of their partners. There was a press release or something. There it is, Wiggle is one of <laughs> So they, were, they moved from using uh, off-the-shelf RF diagnostics modules to using off-the-shelf energies modules, and now they've moved again. 
<laughs> I'll show you in a minute. It's just hilarious. And what you're doing is buying equity stock in the company, which is worthless. So they claim that their valuation here is $146 million, right? And you have to invest 500 bucks minimum. They've had 1,800 people, right? What is that? I think that's an average of $1,500 each that people have been duped out of, right? But $146 million valuation. Let me show you why this is an absolute joke, right? Energis is listed on the stock market, right? Energis is huge. They've been going forever. They list on the stock market. This is their share price over the last five years, right? They have like real wireless power tech, but nobody's taken it up because it doesn't really work that good. But at least they have real tech, right? Which is why Wiggle partnered with them. So they were, were uh, $22 a share uh, five years ago. And well, yeah, they're now in the toilet at 60 cents a share. And I think it's, <laughs> it's just going to go lower. <laughs> Take that capital loss now. But even like practically the world's biggest publicly listed wireless power company ha only has a market capitalization of $47 million. That's their entire market capitalization. And Wiggle claim that they've got $150 million valuation for like when they have no tech whatsoever. They're just using off the shelf stuff like, oh my God, people don't even do an ounce of due diligence. On these companies before they've been just been suckered their, their money's just going to go down the hole they're just going to burn it away and the grift is just going to go on year after year after year that's how it works because if you go to the updates over here they're like giving almost daily updates right it, it's just nuts right and they're into this new salt water battery thing which they're uh don't worry about the wireless power don't look over there oh we've got this new salt water battery i think i've shown uh i hinted at that in the other ones and in the other videos and wiggle is going viral and this is like uh, this is just february's updates right and they just update 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 like no real tech is being developed like they're not actually charging phones <laughs> with their wireless power because you guessed it it's all trickle charging into a storage battery and then the storage battery charges the phone. That's how it works. Oh, look, they've teamed up with the US Space Force and we might see that in a minute. 1600 reg uh, A investors, congratulations, Wiggle. We're hot in Texas, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we've been to the Air Force base because, well, <laughs> we've got this Air Force contract. <laughs> yeah, so did a hundred other companies that they just pissed their uh, taxpayer dollars on. Seriously, if you're a US taxpayer, this is where some of your taxes is going. <laughs> Good luck. Wiggle is party favorite. Oh, we're still in January. Oh, Pentagon. Wiggled for the Pentagon. <laughs> Wiggle in for dollars. <laughs> Come on. Wiggle your stuff. Wiggle in winter. Wiggle your concerts. Wiggle this. Wiggle that. Oh my God. This is just hilarious. They just bamboozle you with updates. It's unbelievable. And they're like, they respond like to everything, right? And... <laughs> <laughs> Yet they don't have any real tech. Let's have a look. They've got a new campaign video. We have to watch it. Let's go. 2.8 million bucks. This is what people got sucked in by. The dead battery. The battery died. You'd have to died? sit at a sit? wall to at a charge wall. your battery. I literally do not understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Imagine never having to deal with dead batteries again. A world yeah. where devices charge Yay! on the move wherever you are. Woo! Wiggle is making that happen. Wiggle no, is working not. with leaders in the wireless power oh, industry to build it's be real. wireless power networks that work like Wi-Fi, but deliver electrical power instead wow. of data. Wi-Fi for energy. Where have we heard that before? <laughs> U-beam, anyone? It's the same frequencies as radio and Wi-Fi, so it's just as safe. Just Wiggle as safe and just as ineffective. Truly oh, in a tent. Look at this. You can charge your phone in a tent using Wiggle. Uh, yeah, where's the energy coming from? Probably from a solar panel, which you would just plug directly into your storage battery. You wouldn't waste 99% of your energy trying to uh, transfer the power wirelessly in your tent. Unbelievable. Allowing you to recharge phones, laptops, and eventually... Phones, laptops, Re laptops, really? How much energy do laptops take? <laughs> <laughs> the, the five watt charging power of a mobile phone's already orders many orders of magnitude more than what this thing can deliver. Other battery power devices like EVs. EVs, yes, they're serious. Without ever plugging in. 
and it has the solar networking patterns to do it. That's the only thing they've got is these silly patterns. You can go look them up for yourself. And uh, like, it just, uh, they're just nothing burgers. In the past year, Wiggle wirelessly recharged Apple and Samsung devices during university no, demonstrations. No, you didn't. It came from battery. I've already debunked this. It's like it trickle charges into a storage battery. I mean, I've already debunked this. They've got these passive array receivers here and then the just those off the shelf RF diagnostics uh, receiver chips to go into a big bank of storage uh, super caps here. And then they use that store, trickle charge stored energy to then charge the mobile. You can't transfer enough power. You cannot beat the laws of physics, Captain, to transfer with a simple three watt transmitter, um, as we'll see as what they're uh, using now. To, like even if you, it was 100% efficient, you're still only transferring three watts, but it's not. It's like 99% inefficient. So you receive in the order of milliwatts. You can't charge your phone with that. It doesn't work. And receive accolades in the press and science accolades in the press. Life. They paid for that interview. Well, okay. It doesn't make life more convenient. It also makes it more secure. When batteries oh. fail, military <gasps> units and emergency responders military. can't keep us safe. So That's important. That's why the U.S. Department of Defense recently awarded Wiggle with a multi-year contract. Oh, multi-year contract to wireless power. power. They <laughs> gave them <laughs> a small grant to produce, as they did a whole bunch of other companies, to compete for some little niche wireless charging thing. And it's like, you know... <laughs> It's like, come on, it, the grift is real. Solar Roadways did exactly the same thing with the uh, DOT, the Department of Transport. Oh, we're super huge because we got this uh, contract from the Department of Transport to do this, you know, pilot installation or whatever. Yeah, and just nothing happened from it. That's what they, that's what they do. They got billions and billions of dollars and they give you, you know, tens of thousands of dollars or whatever to do your little uh, study along with a hundred thousand other companies uh, to do similar things for some little niche requirement it's like come on no and with founders and advisors oh. from the Air Force Draper Labs and MIT they were the first so credible CF company to raise five million dollars first to company to raise five year. million bucks power forward and stake your claim in what's next touchless wireless mobile power let's wiggle let's wiggle so that was enough to dupe 1800 investors into handing over at least $1,500 each for this new round, even though the previous round that they did nothing. What have they done with their $5 million? I've shown it in a previous video. They just got a couple of university students to uh, do some paper or something, which then got uh, published in Nature, not the real Nature, just Nature Letters or whatever it is. Uh, I can't remember, but there was nothing in their own study says that, oh yeah, we're transferring like milliwatts of power. Oh. But their latest update, don't worry about the, you know, mobile charging anymore. Oh no, electric vehicles are becoming the future. And we're going to, we've got a, a, a saltwater battery thing that they're going to, look, they've got like saltwater batteries that they're going to charge EVs on the go. We're going to request ongoing funding from the Department of Defense for EV power on demand, and they'll probably get it. You can keep this grift going for years and years, even like a decade or more, just siphoning off money from, a, you know, a government government uh, departments. This is what these companies done and they've raised all this money. People will never see a dime back from this. In fact, I have to do another video on this telling people to stay away from equity crowdfunding campaigns like this because almost all of them uh, make no money whatsoever. They almost all fail. They do not produce a return for the investors and even the ones that do produce a return, it's like oh, you might get 500%, I think is the current best one. Anyway, separate video required. Anyway, here's a video they did uh, four months ago. There's no audio in it, it's just wanky background music, so I'll turn it off. And uh, their technology readiness level demo for the Department of Defense. So this is the one they're talking about. They went on the Air Force base or whatever, and you'll see there's Air Force uh, people or Space Force, I think. Uh, there's two people uh, from the armed forces there watching their demo. Let's have a look at their demo. It's a TRL-6 demo, August 8th, 2022. See, here's the Department of Defense guys. There's one of the uh, founders there. And here's their wiggly demo. They'll show, oh, look at it. He's a robot. That's the CEO and founder of, <laughs> of Wiggle right there doing the robot move. Uh, wildly successful. Wow, the whole room erupts because they can transfer 
wireless power. Look, they've got transmitters. And well, and look, they actually showed off their salt water generator too. And they've got their wiggle receivers here and they're powering an iPhone and an Android here. Well, what have they actually got here as the transmitters? Well, yep, you guessed it. It's off the shelf. They've gone from RF Diagnostics to uh, partnering with Energis. What they're using now is these Powercast is another commercial company that you can buy their eval boards. I think you buy them on DigiKey and Mouser and stuff, right? So you can play around with it yourself. And uh, these are the transmitters they've got. So they've got four of these transmitters over here. These are uh, three watt uh, transmitters that operate on 915 uh, megahertz to 950 megahertz. And they're, uh, sorry, they've got three of those over there like that. And they'll just have matching uh, Powercast receivers over here. And we can't get a good look at this giant, like this, big box here maybe they've like customized some box but it's going to have batteries in it it's going to have super caps in it because i guess they can only transmit milliwatts how do we know this because power cast themselves tell us yeah look you can buy them through mouser and arrow and stuff you can buy the eval kits you know they, these are real things wireless power wireless power is a real thing but it's in the order of milliwatts for a three watt transmitter right they tell you right here how much power is received. The received power is determined by several factors, including distance and receiving antenna performance. Available energy after conversion is in the low milliwatt range. The low milliwatt and microwatt range should be expected. So yeah, I've used these myself. And you know, if you rely on like uh, like just Wi-Fi signals and stuff, you just get microwatts of received power. But if you've got the dedicated three watt, three watts transmitter, you'll get low milliwatts, as in like five milliwatts, 10, if you're lucky, like tens of milliwatts, <laughs> I calculate the loss. And here it is, how much power does your transmitter use? The three watt version of the transmitter draws about 1.5 watts of energy from the wall outlet, which is less energy than a typical nightlight. Um, so they claim the three watts is actually an EIRP uh, transmit level. So it's actually, a, it looks like it's half a watt uh, continuous output power. So as, as you saw, they've got three of those Powercast transmitters and they just have Powercast receivers maybe in some custom box with some storage on there and of course if you trickle charge capacitors or a battery bank of course you can charge a mobile phone here they are in the boardroom giving their presentation now this is interesting they they've got that looks like the off the shelf uh power cast uh passive uh receiver just like patch antenna receiver I don't know what that is Thing there like I, I got no idea but yeah look here's the Department of Defense guys looking yeah we can transmit uh, power and look at this gigantic big box here I'm like no come on but really to get 7.8 million bucks in funding with this and think your company's worth a hundred and fifty million dollar valuation when Energis are only worth uh, uh, 46 million dollars and falling no sorry to everyone who's invested in this you have lost your money and like there's nothing new here at all except that they've changed off the shelf providers three times now use three different off the shelf technologies and all they got is some mesh networking wirely thing it's just like some pattern for that and that's it and 150 million dollars no it's just a joke anyway give this video a big wiggly thumbs up <laughs> if you like these um just me highlighting just that, like it i don't even have to go through and debunk this it's like they're literally using they tell you this is not a secret they're not trying to hide it they tell you they're using power cast uh transmitters here they've got nothing they only receive milliwatts of power confirmed by Powercast, who make the stuff that they're actually using I don't know whether to laugh or cry at the people who invest in this. I just feel so sad that they get just get duped, even though the first Google result points to debunking. Nah, they still pour their money in. Just don't touch these things. It's a grift. You're just paying for them to do wiggle work for the next decade. So once again, right, these things have application. They have niche application, but all these companies looked at at least five maybe even six different wireless power companies here on the EV blog. And they all claim all the same ridiculous rubbish. Like we are going to, you know, we're going to own every market and it's a $40 billion market. And you can power your mobile phone and your television and your laptop and all sorts of rubbish like this. And it's just, no, it's just utter garbage, all of it. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that wiggly update. Catch you next time.